Before we dive into each step in the analysis flow, I want to point out the softwares used in the analysis. The first the software I want to share is Cellringer. Cellringer is developed by 10x Genomics. It is a collection of the pipelines for processing 10x single cell data. The second software I want to highlight is Loop Browser. Loop is also developed by 10x Genomics. It is a desktop tool for inter interactive analysis and visualization of your single cell data. We will also briefly mention some popular community development tools. These are primarily programming languages, pro sorry, programming libraries with some standalone tools such as Sura and Scampy. Although these tools are not officially supported by 10x, many of these tools are great and we really appreciate the efforts in the research community for developing these tools to perform a variety of advanced analysis. Now let's go through each major step of the analysis flow and see what we can expect to derive from each step. After we obtain the FASTQ files, the first step is reprocessing and quantification. The main tool used for this purpose is Cellringer. What Cellringer does in the analysis in, in this step is includes extracting cell barcodes to derive single cell information, align reads to the transcriptome and the counting UMIs. As a result, we can obtain a feature barcode matrix that can that contain the raw UMI counts for each barcode and each gene. But some barcodes may be background from the assay and they may not represent the information from a real cell. Therefore, in the second step, we will perform quality control and the filtering barcodes. To do this, you can use Cellringer and Loop. Cellringer performs basic quality control and output metrics that help you assess the sample quality. For example, Cellringer will detect cell-associated barcodes and report mapping and the sequencing metrics. With Loop Browser, we can also filter cell barcodes based on the certain metrics, for example, the number of the genes and the percentage of mitochondrial reads associated with a cell. Later in this webinar, I will, de I will demonstrate how you can do this with loop. After assessing the data quality and removing low quality barcodes, you can obtain a list of the filtered barcodes for the next step of analysis. The third step is data integration. This is often performed when you have a more than one sample. You can achieve this using Cellringer or community developed tools. The goal of this step is to integrate multiple samples and to, in, and to correct the batch effects. For example, the data shown here are two replicates from the same biological samples, but handled a bit differently during the experiment. As you can see, they are separated as two groups when visualized suggesting some batch effects. So in this case, you may want to correct the batch effects for, for integration. Batch effects can be resulted from various technical factors. If you are using the same 10, 10x chemistry for the same biological samples, batch effects can be minimal. However, batch effects can still arise when samples are handled at different times or by different people. The step four is clustering and the visualization. The goal of this step is to group cells into clusters based on their gene expression profile and visualize the gene in a two-dimensional plot. Because single cell data is complex, we need to reduce the dimension computationally so that we can visualize data in a way that we can comprehend. The most common methods for visualization are TSNI and UMAP. As you can see, with the same sample, these two methods can give you slightly different global structure of the, of the clusters. This is an active field of research and there's not really a conclusion on which method is better than the other. You can choose to use either TSNI or UMAP to uh, plot to visualize your data, depending on your da individual data and also depending on what, what you find in the literature review with a similar analysis. After clustering, the next step is to perform differential gene expression analysis in each cluster. This step is performed in cell ranger with fixed settings. You can also use loop and the community developed tools for, for this purpose. And with this tool, the analysis can be, slight, uh, can be highly customizable. 
In this step, what people often do is to perform the differential analysis for each cluster in comparison with the rest of the cell. And the output is a list of enriched genes or markers in each cluster with their log, cha log fold change and adjusted p-value. In loop and the community developed tools, you can also define the clusters you would like to compare and then perform the differential analysis between two chosen population. The next step is to annotate the cell population in the data. The goal of this step is to figure out the cell type identity for each cell cluster. We can do this manually based on the enriched marker genes that we found in the previous step. There are also many great community tools that allow you to annotate cells automatically based on the annotation, sorry, based on the correlation between your data and the reference data. At the end of, the, of this step, you would expect to have all cell clusters annotated at a specific uh, cell type. So now that we have gone through the major steps in the analysis, I want to give you an idea what skills or knowledge you may need in order to perform the analysis. To run Cell Ranger, you need to use a, a Linux system to execute your Cell Ranger pipelines. In this, in this analysis, you need to understand experimental design. You need to be comfortable running command line in the Linux environment. You need to be familiar with the organization's data management systems, and then you need to know who to contact if there are server issues. To run Loop, because it is, Loop is an interactive, quite interactive user-friendly desktop tool, you just need to be comfortable with either the Mac OS or Windows operating systems. You also need to understand the experimental design, of course, and, and the biology when, exploring, when, when, when analyzing your data. You also need to have the ability to interpret the, the differential gene expression analysis results. So now we have gone through the major analysis step. And if you want to know more about 10x developed software, you can find more information and instruction on our support website. They will find details on how to run Cell Ranger and Loop.